It looks to be the beginning of a lovely day, Holmes. There's nothing like beginning the week with a sunny Monday, with nothing more pressing to do than to see what came in the post. Uh, would you care to take a ride up the Thames today? I think not, Watson. Listen, Holmes, your mood has been getting progressively worse for the past two weeks. I know you, and I am certain that something is bothering you. It wouldn't be bad news from Switzerland, would it? Already be on a boat heading towards the continent, were that the case, my dear Watson. Very well, then what is it? Let me guess. For the past two weeks, the papers have talked of nothing other than this French thief, Arsene Lupin. He's been making all of the police officers on the continent look like complete idiots. You're taking an obvious pleasure out of reading these articles. My dear Watson. I've put my finger on it, haven't I? I know you well. Something tells me that you will not entertain talk of this Lupin for some time. Do you recall his latest feat? Using an alias, he seduced a young Italian princess in order to rob her of a priceless set of diamond jewellery that once belonged to the Medicis. These jewels were to be part of the lady's dowry on the occasion of her marriage to the son of a wealthy, influential Sicilian. Finally, our friend, having committed his crime, left word for the local press, explaining that there was no other way for the charming lass to escape a marriage of convenience with, I quote, an uncultivated and uncouth boar without the least refinement. Since then, the lady has been confined to a convent, and rumor has it that the two outraged fathers have jointly offered a sum of countless millions of liras for the head, the rest of the body being optional, of the man who is responsible for their dishonor. Are you acquainted with the reputation of the Italian criminal milieu? Why, another letter from the zoo about those missing birds, as if we were going to be running around the whole of London chasing chickens. As I was saying, are you acquainted with the reputation of the Italian criminal milieu? This Arsene Lupin must be in hiding somewhere, surrounded by bottles of champagne and stolen treasures. How foolhardy and arrogant. Oh, these French. However, he didn't pursue this foolishness to the point of risking stepping onto British soil. Uh, ah! Has the cat got your tongue, Watson? What? Uh, um... Uh... Whatever is the matter with you, Watson? Pray tell. This letter on the ta table. Holmes, read it. Holmes, this is truly unbelievable. Surely this cannot be taken seriously. It's possible, Watson, that this letter is nothing but a prank. However, a small chance exists that both the challenge and the threat are real. What will you do? First, I'm going to enjoy the breakfast Mrs. Hudson has prepared, if you would be so good, Watson, as to clarify some of the riddles in the letter. Firstly, if Arsene Lupin is actually the author, as he states, why does he sign with another name? When it comes to the poem, even if an answer seems straightforward, we must be quite certain. What would the target of tonight's theft be if this letter turns out to be accurate? We have one day to find the solution and to take preventative measures. You could go see Barnes, the bookstore in Glentworth Street. Surely they'll have something that would be informative.
barn should hire a cleaning lady. Oh, what a mess. Gnithrith, Gnrith, Kudwilm, Lizrit, Sublilith. Good day, Barnes. Uh, uh, hello, Dr. Watson. Uh, uh, how are you? I did, uh, didn't hear you enter. Are you busy? Am I disturbing you? Uh, not at all. I, I was researching, uh, researching, um, but if you came to see me, it must be that you're looking for something specific. Uh, perhaps uh, I can help you? A very strange affair, bewildering even, has brought me to see you. An affair involving a Spanish cape and a one-eyed, one-armed man. <laughs> Most certainly. You will find the works dealing with naval history on one of the shelves uh, somewhere. Thank you. I'll go look. Ah, here's my book, The Great English Sailors. As it happens, I found this book and... Excuse me, uh, my dear Dr. Watson, but uh, uh, I am in need of tranquility. Well, well, farewell, Barnes. Tell me, Watson, what progress have you made? Have you found the meaning of the mysterious signature? It's an anagram, Holmes. The letters in Arsino Lotino can be used to spell out Horatio Nelson. That's a welcome confirmation. No doubt the target for the theft is somehow connected with the Battle of Trafalgar, won by Admiral Lord Nelson at the expense of the French. Nelson, who lost an eye and an arm in battle, has a statue high atop a column in Trafalgar Square. It says that the object of the theft is sitting at his master's feet. There's nothing to steal on this column. We have a map of London here somewhere. Let's see if we can find a site of interest near Trafalgar Square. <laughs> 